everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. My name is Kate and today we are going to be learning some vellum basics. Um, I haven't covered a lot of vellum on my channel so I thought it'd be good to catch up. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. There's been a lot of interesting things happening in the background and I can't wait to share them with you but in the meantime I thought let's post some tutorials so we can all catch up and learn vellum together. The goal of today is to basically make a shrinking effect with Flippy here. And the easiest way to do that is by the power of one note. And that's called vellum constraint property job. And we're gonna get into that in a sec, but we're gonna start up at the top. So the first thing you're gonna to, going to wanna to do is create your geometry node, dive inside, and then drop down Flippy here, which is test geometry rubber toy. You don't really need to scale them or anything. Uh, you can probably translate them upwards if you wanted to, um, in case you want to add gravity later in the simulation. In this case, I didn't really want to, but I did translate them up. The next thing you're going to want to do is subdivide them. So you, he's a little bit, has more geometry and polygons in him. And then the next one, you're going to add a vellum, clo uh, vellum cloth note. And the easiest way to do that is to go to vellum configure cloth and it will drop down that note. The next thing you're going to do is add a vellum solver and as soon as you drop it down you're going to want to add two subsets just to make sure that there's no self collisions. You can add a ground plane or turn off the ground plane if you want to. Then you're going to go to forces. You're going to turn off the gravity so it equals zero. And that's pretty much all you need before diving inside. Dive inside and drop down a vellum constraint property dot. You see that I've already added some keyframes here. What we are doing over time is animating these parameters. These parameters are automatically turned off when you drop down a vellum constraint property dot. So we'll do that just so you can see the difference. As you can see, all of them are turned off. All I've done here is turn them on and then kept them at their original value and then animated them going down over time. So if we go over here to the last frame, I've animated them increase the stiffness, increase the compression stiffness, increase the dampening ratio and lowered the rest length scale. And by doing that over time, you can get Flippy to shrink. So by playing it back, we can see that he shrinks. And we'll give it a few seconds so the whole thing caches out. And there we go. Flippy, over time, shrinks into this little deflated toy. And that's pretty much how you do shrinking effects in Vellum. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.